Good morning. The thing that's on my mind this morning is the similarities between growing this lemon tree and growing my business. So my husband and I bought the lemon tree you see behind me about a year ago and had our local nursery come and plant it for us. And we were so excited to get lemons this year. The fruit started coming in. There's so much fruit on this tree. The problem is this. It's not a lemon tree. It is a lime tree. <laughs> and we didn't get the fruit we expected. So I could be really, really disappointed about that, or I could enjoy the beautiful limes that we're getting off of this tree. And we're actually gonna go down and buy a lemon tree now so that we can have both. That's what happens with our businesses, isn't it? We kick off a business, we expect certain things to happen, we expect it's going to attract our ideal customers, and then we find that our products and services need tweaking or that there's a different market out there. And we have to be able to grow, adjust, and adjust our expectations and understand that the fruit that we're getting from our business is exactly what it's supposed to be. I can't make this tree give me lemons because it's not a lemon tree. And when we start growing our businesses, we might want the outcome to be a particular way, or we might want to attract a certain customer. And we might get that, or we may get something a little bit different. And if we can grow and learn and adjust along the way, we can maximize our business and really listen to that customer feedback and create exactly what the customer wants, and then pivot if we need to pivot. I'm gonna enjoy the beautiful fruit that we're getting from our lime tree and not get frustrated because it can't be a lemon tree. Same thing in your business. Adjust, grow, and listen to your customers because then when you pivot, you're going to be creating the exact products and services that the people you're meant to serve are needing from you. This is How We Rise.